back to Watch Me Recipes. So today we'll be making one of my favorite meals of all time, roasted tandoori chicken. Um, this is a recipe that my mom taught me how to make. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with the, mar um, with the marinade for the chicken. So I have um, a freshly washed chicken sitting in a mixing bowl. I have um, grinded and blended garlic and ginger. I have two tablespoons of yogurt, just plain yogurt, lemon juice, and a packet of sh the infamous Shan Tandoori Chicken Masala, which is um, a very convenient tool to have in your kitchen because then you don't need to put and mix powders together. So we're going to start. I'm going to take my yogurt and put it in the mixing bowl. Two tablespoons of yogurt, one teaspoon of garlic and ginger blended. I'm going to add about one teaspoon of lemon juice. And I'm going to add the entire packet of the Shan Masala. Now depending upon how spicy and flavorful you want your chicken, you can um, add you know, the whole thing or half of it. But you know, we like our chicken flavorful and spicy, especially since I'm gonna be adding um, potatoes and vegetables on the side. So I'm just gonna mix that up. And the yogurt is going to thicken, you know, as you mix with, you know, with all the powder and seasoning blended in together. Okay, and if you're making two chickens, you're going to want to use double. So you'll use you know, more yogurt, you'll use more seasoning. Um, Alright, so let's bring the chicken over and we're going to marinate the chicken with the mixture. Now, um, for those of you who are um, a little wary of um, touching raw chicken, you can use gloves. Um, I don't mind, so I'll use my hands. And just a tip of advice, you want to put your contacts on before you marinate the chicken. I made the mistake, the terrible mistake, of putting my contacts in after touching the masala, and my eyes were shot for like two days. So, All right, so we're going to go ahead and pour the, pour the mixture right on the chicken. Now using your washed hands, you're going to go ahead and marinate and, let, and, and make sure every aspect of the chicken is covered in the, mar in the mixture. And then we're just going to let the chicken sit in the fridge. We're going to um, <clears throat> have it marinate for about two hours. And then we'll come back and we will start roasting the chicken. So see you in a couple of hours. Hi, so we're back for the second part of the recipe for roasting a chicken. So I've transferred the chicken from the mixing bowl to a special pan called a chicken roaster or a turkey roaster. Um, this pan actually makes an excellent choice for roasting any bird, especially turkey and chicken. Um, because it helps to retain the water that comes from the bird so it doesn't dry out the chicken or the turkey. So this you can purchase at any um, uh, appliance or kitchen store. Um, so I have greased the pan uh, with the cooking spray and we're going to just pop this chicken into the oven. I have preheated the oven to 375 degrees. 
Okay, and the approximate cooking time for the chicken is going to be about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So, but we're going to come back in about half an hour to check up on the chicken and we're going to learn how to baste. Um, and then at that time, I'm going to add some potatoes and vegetables to go along with the chicken in the roaster. So we'll come back in about half an hour. Okay, so we're ready to check up on the chicken. It's been 30 minutes. Alright, let's see how the chicken is looking so far. Okay, so we see there's some... It's drying up on the top. So we're going to use our baster right here. This is a, a turkey baster. And we're going to just gently be careful of the grill. Um, going to base the top of the chicken with the water because we can see that it's definitely getting a little dry at the top and this will help to keep the chicken nice um, nice and moist and tender so we have a nice succulent turkey I'm sorry chicken okay and then once so after we're done basting the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and um, throw in some potatoes and carrots that I have ready for us. I have um, cut up some, uh, some red potatoes and some sweet potatoes. Um, and I have washed some baby carrots. And we'll put that right into the, um, in the roasting pan. <clears throat> and what's going to happen now is with the potatoes and the carrots in, we're going to um, have some water that's going to drain from the potatoes. So we'll have some more, um, a, um, um, a saucy type of mixture that's going to form with the um, addition of the, of the potatoes and the carrots. So we don't have to worry about how there's not that much water, um, how, how there's not that much water right now because we're going to see in about half an hour that the water from the potatoes is going to um, accumulate. Alright, so, we, so we'll be back in about half an hour. Okay, so we're ready for our second assessment of the chicken. Well, let's take a look. It's been in the oven for an hour now. And we can see chicken is cooking nicely. And there's a lot of juice from all the vegetables that we, that we put in before. I'm going to go ahead and baste the chicken and the potatoes. juice and we can see that there's a lot of water that has formed so what we're going to do now is we're going to cook or bake the chicken for uh, 15 minutes uncovered so that some of the water can dry out and we're going to come back and check up on the chicken and one thing I didn't mention before was if you use um, an aluminum pan, um, that actually dries out the chicken quicker. So you're going to have to um, check up on your chicken every 15 to 20 minutes and just continuously baste it so that the chicken doesn't dry out. Whereas if you use um, an actual chicken roasting pan, you know, you don't fall into that problem. So I'm going to leave the pan uncovered and we'll come back in 15 minutes and we'll see how the chicken's looking. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. We're going to check up on the chicken one last time and it should be ready. Um, so it looks like all the water has pretty much uh, dried out. And let's just turn all the potatoes over and we see, yes, the potatoes 
have cooked very thoroughly, especially the sweet potato. Um, so let me go ahead and take the chicken out. And here is our end product. Okay, and I'm going to show you how the chicken looks from the inside. I'm going to make a slice right through the top. We see that the chicken is very moist and tender from the inside. And there you have my roasted tandoori chicken. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.